So, you want to unlock the power of productivity with the Pomodoro Technique. In this video, you will learn the simple time management method in order to get more done in less time. In this video, we'll also show you a step-by-step -step guide to the Pomodoro Technique in order to boost your productivity and achieve all of your goals. So, to start off, what is the Pomodoro Technique? The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method developed by Francesco uh, Cirillo, 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 Cirillo in the late 1980s. It is based on the idea of breaking your work into short 25 minute intervals called a Pomodoro followed by a short five minute break and then you repeat it. This technique helps to improve productivity by reducing distractions and keeping you focused um, in order to negate burnout. So I told you a little bit about what the Pomodoro Technique is, but you're probably wondering, mm, uh, cool Pomodoro Technique, but uh, how do I use this? Like, what, what are the actual rules to this uh, technique? How, do, how does it function? So this is how you use Pomodoro Technique. Um, it follows this uh, pretty simple process. There's like uh, like six steps, maybe. First, uh, first step is pretty simple. You should like, decide on the task or tasks that need to be accomplished. Uh, that's easy. You like grab your phone or like a little time you can use a kitchen timer. Um, you set it to 25 minutes and then you just work on that task like completely focused and you know you've got the timer going so you're just like that like it's sort of like um, a function where it clicks your brain into thinking like I gotta work right now because I got the timer going on and you're not just gonna like laze around during that 25 minute timer you're gonna like actually work and be productive. Yeah, after the timer goes off, you take a short five minute break. And um, also with breaks, after you do four Pomodoras, so that's like uh, four little sets of 25 minutes uh, working and then five minute break. So after two hours, you take um, either a 15 minute break or a 30 minute break. You probably do like a 10 minute break if you wanted to. But you take a slightly longer break to just sort of like clear your mind for a little bit. Like you could use that break to like maybe eat your lunch or like go do some exercise or something, that's what you use that break for. Yeah, that's like the whole Pomodoro, so like, Pomodoro is the 125 minutes, and then you get the two hour session in total, that's like one full session, and then after that's done, uh, you do another one until like the end of the day. So you could probably do like four of those sessions, four or five of those sessions in like a full work day. So, told you a bit about what the Pomodoro technique is, I told you sort of how to use it, what like what is it actually good for? Why 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 might you want to use the Pomodoro technique? The Pomodoro technique can help you um, enhance and boost your productivity and your focus by breaking up your work into short, like highly highly focused periods of work time. The Pomodoro technique helps to eliminate distractions and reduce burnout by taking um, like regular breaks throughout the throughout the day. The Pomodoro Technique can help you get way, like way, way, way more stuff done in less time. Like even though you're taking these breaks, it can help you get way more stuff done in less time uh, by keeping you motivated and on track throughout the day by like, cause you know when you're supposed to be working, when you're supposed to have breaks. So you're just like, well, I mean the break is a reward. So you're working like really, really hard to get the break. So yeah, uh, keeps you motivated and on track. Uh, the Pomodoro Technique can help you improve your time management skills by uh, teaching you and having you use your time more effectively throughout the day. Here's the thing about the Pomodoro Technique. I said that you have to have uh, like 25 minute uh, work period and then five minute break. That's not true exactly because it's a bit, the Pomodoro Technique works, but it's also modular. Like you can choose just like how long you want your work period to be and how long you want your break period to be. Um, it's not like, you have to do 25 minutes work, you have to do five minutes break. You could do like 15 minutes work and 10 minute break kind of thing. And you can like chop that up and adjust it uh, to make it so it works in the absolute uh, best best format for you. Yeah, so it can be adapted to suit your personal preferences and your work style. So the Pomodoro technique can be used um, in a bunch of different areas. It might be like, I don't know, it can be used in a bunch of different areas. It can be used like personal projects, hobbies, like um, you know, your normal, your work. It can be used in your work, 
Can also, it's like, I think it's mainly used for studying, but yeah, you can use it for studying as well. So when you're using the Pomodoro technique, you can create a certain sense of like satisfaction and accomplishment uh, because you judge how hard you're working by the amount of Pomodoro sessions. So like that 25 minute session, the amount of those sessions that you've completed each day, like every single time you reset the, reset the timer, you can have like a little tally and you're like, yeah, I worked hard today. You know, I went through like, I don't even know how many, I don't, I don't know the math, but like nine Pomodoro sessions. And then you would consider that like I worked hard today. Um, by having a set and regular amount of breaks, you can improve your like your mental health and well-being using those breaks. Cause it's not like I'm grinding it out and I'm working hard like 12 hours a day just non-stop. It's like, yeah, I've got these breaks where I can just like, uh, like try and relax and reset my mind. So that's good for you. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's just a simple way to boost your productivity and a simple way to help you achieve your goals. Yeah, so that's why you should use the Pomodoro technique. But also, on like a side note, it should be it should be known that the Pomodoro technique, it's not a rule, it's like a technique, right? It's not a rule like the 80-20 law, so you should, like, you should, it's a tool, you should use it as a tool and use it um, to best suit you rather than the 80-20 rule which is a rule yeah so talked about all about the pomodoro technique how to use it you know like why should i use it here are different ways uh where the pomodoro technique will uh could be could come in handy in your own life so work and study you can use the pomodoro technique to stay focused and productive while doing your work or while studying for school you can use the pomodoro technique to stay on track um, for your own personal projects, such as uh, writing a book, or maybe learning a new skill or a language, maybe. Yeah, you can use it for time management. You could use the Pomodoro technique to improve your time management skills and to make the most of your time. Uh, for prioritizing tasks, you could use the Pomodoro technique to prioritize tasks uh, to make sure you're working on the tasks uh, which are most important first. I'm, I know we touched on this for the 80-20 rule, but the Pomodoro Technique is, on the, is another way of improving your productiveness. The Pomodoro Technique will help you um, eliminate distractions and stay focused and stay motivated uh, to do the task that you are currently working on. The Pomodoro Technique will help you manage your procrastinate, procrastination. Um, it will help you to stay focused at the on the task at hand and to not put things off uh, like you do when you're procrastinating. Yeah, you can um, combine the Pomodoro technique with um, other ta or like other other studying or like productiveness techniques uh, that you know in order to put together like um, a productivity technique portfolio, which will help you stay um, very productive. And I know I'm touching on this. I do plan to help you put together a portfolio such as that with uh, future coming videos. Yeah, so that's how you can use the Pomodoro technique in your own life. And on another side note, the key is to experiment with what works best to you, best for you, and uh, be open to adjust the Pomodoro technique to make it so that uh, you can be you can use it to better suit yourself. Yeah, that's all for this video. If you like the video, you can like the video. If you want to see more of my stuff on YouTube, then you can subscribe. Gemma, what should I do for the end of the video? You want me to make more videos about you? You don't like the camera? You want to sleep?